You'll be getting used to all these goals flying in every time you play. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. How much are you enjoying it? Oh, I'm enjoying it a lot, like everything I could ask for from a young age as well, so I'm really grateful and I'm going to keep working hard. You've taken a lot of praise in the two games that you, you have played in. How much more is to come from you? Oh, well, I'll, I'd want to have praise every single time, but I'm going to keep working hard, keep making the fans proud and my teammates proud and the manager proud. That's what I'm going to do. There's so much competition at times for places, but the fact that the manager has given you the chance to impress must really, you know, make yeah. you... Yeah, when I first heard I was going to start, oh, I was really happy. Like, first league game, oh, everything you could ask for, basically. So I was really happy and obviously I went out there and just play how I normally play and hopefully many more to come. The manager said that he, he couldn't leave you out because of how you trained last week. What did he, he say to you about starting? Oh, he was like, um, um, there was one session where we did like an 11 aside, and I was, I was really good in that. And he was like, oh, it's fantastic. And then I was just waiting to go home, and then he was like, just be ready. So then obviously, that, that, I just had a smile on my face. I was like, oh, yes, here we go. So it was really good. Could you sleep after that? Yeah, yeah, I could sleep, I could sleep, yeah, I could sleep, but yeah, I was happy, man. I was happy. The fans have really taken to you even in just two games. How much does that mean to you? Oh, a lot. Like I said, the fans are great and they're always great to me as well. So it's, it's really good. It's really good, man. Really good. You won't be involved in the Europa League at this stage, but how does that give you an advantage, maybe being fresher for the weekend games? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, but um, it's because I came, I came late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I, I joined like deadline day. Yeah. So that's why I, my name wasn't registered for that. So, yeah. But does it give you, I know it's a disappointment not playing in the Europa League, but does it give you, you can work extra on and being ready for the weekend? Yeah, yeah. But it's still, it's not a disappointment because hopefully in my career I'm going to get chances like that. So I'm just going to be patient again and just see what, see where we go from here. Has it already gone better than you expected when you, when you arrived here? Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, I got chances. So when I first came, I was going to be like, oh, I have to work really, really hard. And, and like, it came so soon, so... Obviously, I'm grateful for that, but obviously I'm going to keep the hard, hard work going, so that's all right. When you set up James Forrest's goal the weekend, all the, the players ran to you. Was it quite a special moment to be oh, taken yeah. by them? It was, it was, it was, it was. It was that, that was a really nice feeling, the assisting and winning 6-0. Oh, it was really good, really good. So young, Jeremy, you've obviously 18 years of age, come in, but you've taken your chance when you've got your chance. Has your chances exceeded your expectations so far? Because there's obviously a lot of competition for right back at Celtic. Uh, yeah, I think in training, uh, I work. I always work hard, and I'm gonna keep doing that. And the managers, the managers been seeing that, and the players been seeing that as well. And I'm just gonna keep doing that. If he doesn't pick, just be patient, and we we'll see what happens. How do you look at it? Do you think you know you have a chance because of your strong performances to establish yourself in the Celtic team this season, which would maybe be more than you expected when you arrived at the club? Yeah, I, th I think I'll bring a lot to the team, like going attacking and defensively. So that's that's good as well. Do you think you can make yourself first choice right back for Celtic? Oh yeah. This season? No, no I'm not sure, but hopefully when the time comes, yeah. A lot of stories doing the rounds in, in football at the moment. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of a, a study into dementia with footballers that came out yesterday talking about how the terrible affliction of dementia, footballers are three and a half times more likely than ordinary people to, to get that for various reasons. Is that something that has been discussed at all between the players? No, I've not, I've not even, it's the first time me hearing this, I've never heard about this. How concerning is that the fact that footballers seem to be, from the studies findings, three and a half times more likely to develop dementia later in life? Oh, terrible, that's just, that's just mad man, it's crazy. I don't know how, but yeah, it's crazy. I guess it's something that you'd be keen that more studies uh, are done into this section of, uh, oh, of yeah. research. 100, 100%. Yeah. Jeremy, you say you do want to make yourself first choice right back at Celtic at some point in the future. What are your personal targets for this season then? Um, to win the league, to win the league with them. And just to have, me uh, personally, um, just to have a good season. Yeah, that's my target. Yeah, are, there, are there any figures you want to you know, play 10 games, 15 games, get more assists, more goals? Oh, yeah, 100. I want to get a decent amount of assists <laughs> and so some goals, yeah, that's <laughs> right. And uh, on, on, uh, at the weekend, you're like a pacey right back, that's, that's how I would describe you, but who do you, 
aspire to be? Any any specific right backs that you base your game on? Any idols? I'll say I've always looked at Danny Alves. I've always looked at him, like how he plays. He's always been the best right back in the world. So I've I've looked at him and I just see how he plays. He he likes attacking and defending as well. So yeah, so yeah probably him. You take Danny Alves. Yeah, Danny Alves. <laughs> and uh, how do you think your game's improved under Neil Lennon this season as a manager? Oh, a lot. Like me, me and Neil sometimes. We work, we work uh, my, my crosses, and that's really improved because when I first came, it was I would get there, but my end product wouldn't be that great. So we'll stay behind, and he'll give me some balls, and I'll just whip them in. So I think that's I've really improved in that. And you can see that in, in the pitch at the weekend, yeah. the assist, yeah? Exactly. The big game on Thursday night. How do you find watching Celtic on these European nights? Oh, do we play, we, European nights, oh, they've been playing really well, and hopefully we can do that again. If like if we played how we played on Saturday, oh, definitely we'll win. Does that make you excited about the future for, for being involved in the big European? League? Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. We have such a great team. We have hundred percent. What's the mood in the camp been like this week heading into such a big game? What do you say? What's the mood in the camp been like? Oh, everyone, everyone's excited. Obviously, it's a European game. All the fans are going to come out and that. So everyone wants to give put in a good performance. So it's, it's good in the change rooms. Everything's good. Even when the, when the team are preparing for these games that you're not involved in, uh, do you still feel very much a part of the the plans and the training building up to that? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, hundred uh, percent. Like I'll still cheer them on and that. Yeah, wish everyone good luck. Yeah, hundred. Jeremy, one of the, the the bad aspects of football in recent times has been this reemergence of racism. We've had an alleged incident in Scottish football at the weekend. Other incidents across the UK and in Europe recently. Has it been something that's ever affected you? Well, I've in the past when I was younger, I did I did get some of that. But I went away with Man City, um, went to Italy, and then, yeah, the fans the fans were just being racist and that. So um, it's it's come back a bit like the England England game v what Bulgaria. Team? Yeah, Bulgaria. See, just things like that. Just like it's it's just like it's just what's the point? That's it. That's all you can do, and there's nothing you can save to make it stop. So it's just like yeah. It just kills the mood, like the game of football, like it just kills it. Would walking off the pitch be something that you consider as a footballer if you were subjected to anything like nah, that? No, nah, no, nah. I wouldn't walk off the pitch. No. no, I'll just ignore them and just at the end of the game, I'll just be like, talk, talk to them, be like, why, why did you do that? And nah, no, I don't think that's going to do anything. But yeah, you feel if you walked yeah. off, it I, I think if, if I think I think yeah, if I walked off, yeah, I, I look, I look like oh, that, but I'm not like that. I'll still play. And even our place, our place so hard if, to get a goal, go there and be like, that's what you get. I'll just, it'll just motivate me more, motivate me more. And when we win, oh, I'll love that.